Spooky. Welcome back. Secret house. Fuck. All right. I, I, uh, I, I would like to say thank you all for listening, tuning into the Secret House Against the World, Tokyo based hip hop art culture, lots of discussions about music albums. We used to call them reviews. I think we're moving away from that. There was a unanimous decision against that, despite the algorithm probably not picking us up as much. We don't care. We almost had yeah, 700. Right. Let's get to a thousand. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Fatboy Sharif for following the crew. You know what I mean? Uh, today we're we've we've got together and we we are going to discuss the newest album from Novelists with uh, two S's there. Um, the title of the album is Vagabond. Vagabond. It is Twenty-one minutes and seven songs, so kind of like an EP. But um, what we like to do when we are discussing an album that we haven't like from an artist that we haven't reviewed before, we talk about the artist a little bit. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Who wants to start off talking about the ar- artist? You guys familiar with this guy? No, first time. Really? I am a first time listener too. What? At first, I th- at first I thought you were talking about novelist with a T, the UK rapper. Okay. And I was just like, oh, I don't, I don't really fuck with novelist like that. But uh-huh. okay. Um, and then yeah, it was like a different cat. I'm, be, I'm not familiar with this. To guy. be honest, I, I, the only reason, well, not the only reason, but like you know, we try to give shine to underground independent hip hop artists. This is not necessarily my wheelhouse, but this is the dude from um, Clear yeah. Clear Soul Forces. Oh, okay, so your okay. boy put him I, on. No, That's why like, I was I like, actually, how do you not know? I know this. But I did not like Clear Forces. I didn't Clear Soul Forces. Yeah, I didn't like the group, so I didn't listen to it. I'm really a Royce guy. Anything exterior, I don't really mess with it. Like, and if you look on Royce catalog, he ain't really featured on any song. Right. Yeah, that's true too. He's not. So, which would go into. No, I'm not familiar with Clear Soul Forces. I didn't realize that he was a member. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the four. I've listened. I've listened to um, you know, their project that came out like ten years ago. Yeah, you know, there was kind of a a like '90s contemporary '90s boom bap resurgent with Joey Badass, Clear Soul Forces, and a few other acts. And I thought, I thought, you know, like, oh man, they're pretty dope. But I'm, I'm, I tend to to skew more towards the abstract avant garde artists. And so, you know, I can listen to this shit and be like, oh, this is dope. This is dope. This is dope. But it's not something that is always like right there in my peri- like at my attention it's more in my periphery and and i've 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 not i noticed he has a lot of albums i've not listened to any of the other albums i'm only familiar with his work through the clear soul forces joints and they just released just a few years ago maybe corona is hard to tell it all blurs but they had an album called still and i remember i mean i was playing some of those tracks um when me and late used to dj right. um out here in tokyo but but yeah man i'm i i actually was like yo let me do this one for, for space. space you know what? i and thought i was throwing I you a bone that. no yeah. i appreciate that because i have heard of him and i knew he was from detroit and i knew he was in royce camp but he's one of those guys i'm like man eh, i'm not listening to him I, okay you bet much like bruiser brigade they got a lot of guys i just don't listen to but they they're dope Word. i just I, don't listen to them i like clear soul force as well enough but i uh, like there's like a, a bad taste in my mouth because the friend who recommended clear soul forces to me like insisted that he was like the resurrection of the pharaoh akhanaton and he would say uh-huh. he could control weather and shit like he would like oh, wow. randomly hover his hand next to me and be like can you feel my chakra no um and just like i just <laughs> associate them with, i just associate that whole uh-huh. wheelhouse and, and yeah, also like yeah. Vinnie Paz, uh, for some reason, I understand. Like big, big Vinnie Army Paz. Army of Pharaohs. Um, just yeah, I, I just associate him with 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 that whole like thing. Yeah, um, word. this dude was also seven foot tall and like three hundred pounds, so like you couldn't really say anything to him, you know? Yeah, ah, just, ankle pick your big he's, ass so he's quick. He's just like, oh, I'm I'm the Pharaoh of Carnaton. I'm like, all right, word. <laughs> Words. Shit, your dumb ass. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a brother. He was a black guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I I mean I. I, I all, all that said, let's get let's get right into the album, man. Good, um, good. So so this song this album Vagabond is pretty short. Uh, I I am actually I I actually like a lot of the rapping on this. I think that he goes off multiple times. I like a lot of the things he has to say. There's a lot of wisdom um, to his verses. I think that he's creative. You don't think there's wisdom in this shit? I think it's all wisdom. I don't think it's knowledge. I think it's like wisdom. He says that he's into, you know, a lot of this stuff resonates with people who have read like the Book of Five Rings or watch what? anime or it, it does have a very strong orientalist type of approach yes. to his music, which can be problematic. But I think that it comes from a good place. And I don't think that he kind of exploits it in a way that is kind of gross. Like I, I like a lot of I this I don't shit. think it's like orientalist in the like 
Edward Said sense of sure. the word. This is just a guy who really likes Sean and Andy. Right. I mean, who's, inherently, who's, when you have that interest, it, it parallels can, to that. But you can right. also feel like the fingerprints of, well, I guess not fingerprints because they're not involved, but like you can feel like new jar bears and, and, and yeah, sign yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, substantial. Right. And, like, that yeah, whole yeah. like kind Shout of camp of Fat yeah. John, like all of these yeah. kind of, you know, US slash Japan based you know, people who worked on the Samurai Champloo yeah. soundtrack kind of feeling. And and some of the production is really, much really that pretty. Generation. Like, you know, there's that pretty yeah. kind of orchestral, like, swing to it, um, yeah. uh, which I, I, I actually really enjoyed the production on here. Um, yeah, same. I thought that for, like, it, it skews more towards a traditional boom bap sound, you know, like drums, loop, multi other loop, with, with you know, the progressions coming not in terms of, um, you know, musicality, but, you know, beat switches, a little bit change-ups, I would like drum to see swings. over, I don't know who produced this, but I would love to see Novelist do the notes over, either. Uh, over, like, Bug Seed or someone, you know? Sure, yeah. I mean, like, he, uh, the, the first track, Garden, I, I, I really think that he bars out on that too like the, the the rhymes on this are not any type of issue for me whatsoever i think he's actually really dope at rapping i think he yeah. says a lot of shit and like the, it's not just like rapidy rap shit and he kind of pokes fun at that too the way he the comes on a spiritual it. yeah uh, what was it lyrical or, miracle spiritual yeah, yeah. individual you know which is the joke from that that shady cypher and um yeah he he kind of does that but like you know um Vagabond, which is the title track, is clearly about I seen the summit, but the goal is the, is the goal to climb the mountain or become it. Like that, that is like I think that is <laughs> that is some Musashi Miyamoto shit. Yeah, I think because I, I, it's like I don't remember what the the imagery is, but it's talking about like you know not wanting to summit the yeah. mountain, just being the greatest a, a, means. A lot of it is that and, that yeah. Bruce Lee be water shit, and he got that on here. Yeah, but, dragons, yeah. But like you know, fear of a black mermaid is is very you know clear what he's talking about on that oh, Spade, I, I see I, you i see you itching to get off let me let you go off go on i'm reluctant to down this this music because i want you to down it if you don't like it that's well, what we no. come here for <laughs> this is spade is spade is the guy with the, those takes you're very honest about your likes and your dislikes let me let me say he was a a guy in his content i respect it like music, rap music in general doesn't have to be all about shooting up, bang, bang, selling drugs. So I commend this guy on your content. But your content is damn near cultural appropriation in my eyes. I listened to this whole goddamn album. I'm like, bruh, stop. You are leaning so much into these damn anime tropes to the point. It's almost like when Shut I'm up. out here DJing in Japan and a Japanese person come up to me and be like, hey, man, I love black culture. And I'm like, hey, what do you like about black culture? Hip hop. I'm like, bro, don't dumb down my damn culture to just music. Mm. Like this album really grinded on me, dog. You can't mm. just be spitting this intellectual interlude it's, to the side and try to pretend like you're giving it, it's wisdom the, and it's knowledge. It's the intros that really hurt you, dog. And the interludes. I'm like, bro. You are sitting here leaning into a lot of these tropes, some things that I can tell you haven't even studied. It comes off, and I looked at your profile, went to your website <laughs> to look at your profile to see if you stayed in Japan anytime. You travel, but you didn't stay. Because if you would have stayed, you would know some of this shit just doesn't even hit. I'm like, bro, you can't just oh, watch Naruto brutal. and Dragon Ball and be like, and now I'm one with all Asian culture. Bro, get your knowledge up before you start like spitting all this stuff and knowledge and trying to it's, teach people how yeah. to do something better. It really grinded my gears, dog. I was like, dog, I'm not feeling this. Now let's talk about your lyrics. The lyrics did just the, stop. It. Yeah, just stop. Well, just it no, just no, no. stopped and started again. Okay. Okay. Well, let, let me say something, man. Like your lyrics, I right, they okay, but your delivery was just deadpan. It had no emotions in it. Really? There was no alternation. In, look. Oh, okay. I know people who have the same vocal tone and they don't get excited. Like me, I'm an animated rapper. But your stuff, all of it, all of it was just. Man, 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 man. It's like, dog, you're the type of guy who will be like, hey, man, I just won a million dollars. Yay. You're that guy. Mm. Bro, you, I, you don't feel I, like there's any change up in his no, vocal inflections? No, and shit? there's no emotion in these lyrics. And it comes off as a dude just rapping about anime. I got swords. I'm the mouth. Uh, let me do some kung fu. I was actually thinking that you were going to use the term pretentious, and I thought that that actually kind of works a little bit here. It's pretentious here. as hell. Cultural but, but appropriation and pretentious. I think he's done the legwork, though. I, I think, I he think done he's done the legwork, yeah. though. No, I, I, I think he. I think he's. 
I think this is a interesting like he's not saying his knowledge like here's some self help, but he is saying like here's a wisdom here. And but that's I like what makes that it meaningless it. to me. It's like, mm-hmm. dog, you're not coming from a position of actually trying to help somebody. It's these, these cool little like, saying. This is his yeah. book of five rings. Hey, type look of at shit. this. This is saying you're not really helping or giving anything. You're just saying, hey, this is some cool. He goes stuff. off so dope off the yeah, shit I, too. Was, he's too nice with he's it. Too I can't, nice with it. I, because I, I also I'm not a fan of like the whole like oh I'm Goku I'm Naruto yeah. I'm a spirit bomb you like uh I'm a Hokage type thing I'm not into that shit at all I don't really watch anime like that yeah. um, I do Vagabond he nice with is, is 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 a manga I believe about Musashi Miyamoto and he's talking about being Musashi Miyamoto on the track yeah. he says his name's Takizo which is like his, his like courtesy name or his mm-hmm. birth name or whatever uh which is I think he mispronounced I, it I, but maybe, go ahead maybe but like <laughs> yeah. um. And then also, like, I, I assume he does all the artwork to his albums himself because oh, Infinite okay. Paint on that track, like, Infinite Painter is, like, an app mm-hmm. uh, for, like, digital art. So I'm guessing he's using Infinite Painter and he's using that to express himself. That's dope to me. I appreciate that he paints his covers. And you can see his art getting better across each album as well. Um, but, yeah, in terms of, like, the anime shit, yeah, it's kind of corny, but I think he's dope with it. Nice I think he, like, gets it. off. Like, he really Handling gets off on every canvases. track. canvases. Like, just, like, yo, he's dope. What he says? He says... Who's on the way, but also seeking the way, unsheathing the brain? Bro, he's hard. I thought you would like it. Like, I get that it's like, okay, here goes some wisdom shit. But to me, you know, like I like he says it, he says on one of his tracks. Well, say like, that line again. Oh, say that line again. Unsheathing who's, the brain. Who's on the way, but also seeking the way? Unsheathing the brain. Knowledge the weapon, no less than blessings. Like it's kind it, of mad it's, corny it, to me. I mean, I, I feel unsheathing like, the brain is hard, bro. Man. That's like the sword. And shit. I, I, I know. It's I mean, just I, a, get it, I get it. I get it. Another sword metaphor. Like how many times sure, have you heard sure. sword metaphors? To me, I'm just like, here we go again. Yes, you I are a ninja. He, You're a samurai. Yeah. Go for it. I think he just nice with it, dog. Like he has a lot of in, like I don't. I've read the Book of Five Rings. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like it's like required reading. And he doesn't say that he he says that he's always in the pursuit of wisdom literature. So that's his approach. He's not trying to be academic. And I don't right. think he's trying to sell you a self-help where it's like, buy my product. I'm going to help you follow this. I'm yeah. going to help you. He's talking about kind of his experiences and how he's able to translate these things oh, to yes. better himself. And I don't mind that. Usually I don't like self-help rap. And it almost like every time I feel like he's like leaning into that, he hits me with the bar that I'm like, that's a really dope philosophical kind of twist on you know lines that could be simpler like when you hear when you hear the self-help shit from other rappers it's like damn that's corny damn that's not interesting damn that's not adult flip but for him bro like even a simple line like handling canvases it to me it's like the way that he kind of rhymes is very nice and i can see why a person like royce would listen to these cats even though he's not like doing shit with them but you know he, he he's definitely he, not <laughs> like you know and, and and it hurts to find out you're the strong friend we want under alone intentionally never charging our phone like these are yeah I, I get where he's coming from in terms of like the more academically themed things that, that might require a little bit more nuance like his critiques of capitalism he gets there but those are very much bumper sticker tweet level kind of bars like the capitalism billionaire sovereignty on the top to po- of poverty millions go to bed hungry but at least you can win the lottery it's like all right but it's not that interesting, he, he, but it's there. It's there. It's yeah, right. And, and and also like it sounds good. And I think yeah. that's uh, my my main the thing that saves me. You know, because there's a couple tracks on here that I didn't really care for the subject matter. Uh, Dragons. Like I love Bruce Lee. I've seen every Bruce Lee movie me like too. a million times. Huge fan. But like be like water. I mean, come on. You could have picked like literally right. any other thing Bruce Lee yeah. had said. That is like the into, easiest, like, the absolute <laughs> easiest, grab. most famous thing. People who have never seen a Bruce Lee movie. That's no, why. I, that's like why I ain't water. mad at you, cause I uh, I, I can see and, how and, somebody and sees also, that. And also, fear of a black mermaid. Like, I think the production on there is pretty good. It and is I think good. he raps really well on there. All the production is great on his album. By I the way. do take issue with like, okay, but this is like culture war shit. You know, this is like not. Um, you know, he, he he's like right. you said, he's on the way. He has some very like earnest critiques. He can identify yeah. the problem and stuff like that. But then it's kind of just like. He comes across as like the young homie to me, to be honest with you. He comes across as the young homie. And I don't, I I, kind of feel like this music, 
skews towards more that audience it that does. are into that. Like cats that cats that are even more more weeby than him. Like you know they aspire to be more like him, and I think he sets a pretty good standard as a person. And his talent is undeniable to me. For sure, like yeah, I I just think he's really good at at rapping. And like I don't like I don't in, in the same way that I don't go and I read a lot of like way of the ninja or or like philosophically um tinged self-help type bushido of books or code. or you know bushido yeah. code like i'm i'm doing more of the academic leg work with my interests like if i did read like you know somebody talking about this i'm like fine bro like every day is earth day people choose yeah. to get upset about black murmur i agree with you 100 percent. what it, it, it's fine i like the way you rap on the shit you know it's a you, you you're talking about the incel outcry about all this bullshit they don't got you know and it gets geeky he's like yeah they don't got black people in in some lord of the rings lord city the rings, or something yes, you know yeah. what i mean like like i don't i don't care about that i don't know about that but i might not be his audience but i actually think like this is the type of shit that i feel is like oh this is dope if you heard it in a coffee shop you'd be like oh ew oh yeah you know i mean like, oh, this is for sure like yeah, yeah. This, like who is this like you know i never listened to early mac miller type of shit right but one day i heard that that kick song come on about the sneakers like this is hard yeah. this is dope this is good rap music and i know a lot of my homies who are you know even older that come from the generations of boom bap cats our age group mm -hmm. basically that would be down with this and think like wow this is really good I, rap this is yeah i mean just calling it contra type of shit good rap music i think really Geeky. really does sum it up like even though i i don't particularly care for a lot of the subject matter on here like i said i'm not really into anime like that um big bruce lee fan but just he's just nice with it the production is nice the whole thing is extremely competent i like when i find out things that spade don't like because then i could kind of fuck with him about it i'm gonna start sending this little <laughs> quotes from the book of five rings every day <laughs> wake up spade it's five o'clock it's time to get ready go stare at your reflection notice that it's more than your reflection moving i appreciate <laughs> this guy no I, yeah. actually, I actually appreciate this guy's content yeah. and the way he's coming and from the direction he's coming i just don't like the approach i think okay. the approach was terrible like i said it's these a, Skits, bro, really, really, really take away it. from the album the for me, dog. Are kind. And then he got a reverb over it to make it sound like, like, like you're talking to me in a, yeah. in a yeah. cave. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't. I actually, I despise I, I hate those. It. And 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 at first I was like, is he reading from the Book of Five Rings? Like, because it comes across as some really like. I've been thinking a lot. Some fake Confucian type you know what I mean? knowledge I'm dropping at y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm the lone wolf and I don't like, even no. have a cub. You know what I mean? I was just like, bro, I th like you want to hear a song for the good qualities of the rap and the beat, and then you got to sit through, you know, a, a, like whatever amount of time of him. But it's a being trope that's being played into like now, and I, yeah. I hope it doesn't keep going this direction because a lot of these songs now, they're finding these little interludes and they're putting it there. Right. Or Alan Watts, I'm going to let yeah. play for like 30 seconds. Shout out to Alan Watts, but you know, I don't want to hear alan watts when yes. i'm listening to this album you know what i mean like, come on dude. It, it is it is one of those things where it, it also the the reason i was waiting for you to say pretentious because it's one of those things that i even critique royce for right it's 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 making your music seem a little bit more, more. smart or it intentional is, yeah. without it actually being that you're kind of just taking like that shit that royce did when he was talking about the ice cream truck it's like bro yeah okay all right, <laughs> all, right, right get, like, yeah. all right it's like cool dog like i have actually read a <laughs> lot of you know the black radical tradition and i'm aware of some of these things you used to be calling people faggot in your music yes. so don't try to make it seem like you some deep insightful intellectual motherfucker yes. like mm -hmm. this and, and, and it, whether he knows it or not, or those are his words or not, it does come across as that because the way that it's presented. You know what I, I mean? Agree. I'd rather I'd rather him be having a conversation that's wow. recorded yes. with somebody mm -hmm. other than him reading from exactly. his, his, his philosophical yeah. studies with his samurai. I don't need that, it dog. It comes across very weavy yes. and it comes across very pretentious mm -hmm. to me to, I don't need to that, that bro. point. You're not helping me yeah. get to the next level by reading this. Yeah. spiritual I mean, doctrine but but you know a 14 year old might pocket that and make it a like a big part of their character oh, I, I got friends who I are gonna feel love like, this record yeah it, it's to me it's like i'm not the demographic so i'm more critical of it but bro but that's dangerous to <laughs> yeah. me because I, I a lot of this is not rooted in facts it's just a a guy who's on the outside looking in thoughts about 
Asian culture. And so it's kind of dangerous to me. It's once again, it's like when I hear Japanese people here tell me, I'm going to join the Crips. I'm like, man, right. you will shit the hell up while I choke you. Right. Like, well, you're not going to do that. Like, know what you're getting into. Yeah. It's if coming I, from another real if perspective. I, if I start critiquing all music based on how, like, neoliberal okay. westernized <laughs> it is, <laughs> right. I am complaining about okay. everything. I mean, for those that listen, like, we, I'm a straight Marxist here. And so, I like, I have a bit of a critique about this in general, but I mean, rock with it. Do yoga, fucking meditate. Meditation helps me, but I'm not fucking unlocking chakras and Fair. spiraling and up with Kundalini like, and shit. You know what I mean? Ninja. Like, bro, it's like, yeah, like, hold on, let me let me fucking draw a sigil and fucking <laughs> expand my Merkaba. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I like it. I would recommend this to like Kamau. Yeah, I would recommend yeah, no, this I to like Kamau. 100%. The homie Kamau, Kamau should be listening to this. I would recommend this to my nephew's son, who's 13 years old. He's an anime. He needs better direction than a lot of the music that is projected to him. He needs better direction than a code of the fiend and and all of that other more trying to do something like this mm-hmm. without the talent. Like I, I I think this is a better better for a lot of youth. And I, I I rock with um this rap wholesale. Just I now I gotta fucking cut it on on uh, Serato to play the track because I got I ain't playing your intro for nobody. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, yeah, but but yeah I recommend this to people that yeah. Who yeah I, I I would recommend this to people who like nerdcore because it's actually good. Word, word. <laughs> like, you know, word. people are like, yeah, like, oh, this guy, like, you know, people who are really into like the fucking like Pokemon ciphers mm-hmm. or whatever, where everyone's just like, yeah, I shock you like Pikachu. Yeah, you know, I like. Yo, this is Thor's this has got that. This has got that element yeah. to it. Like, is is nerdy, is referential, yeah. but like, it's actually good. Like, yeah. he's he's getting off on here the production is gorgeous in places yeah. uh and it's like good across the board there's no tracks on here where i didn't like the yeah. production even the yeah. tracks which i didn't care for like i really do enjoy I, the production on here and he's rapping so damn yeah. well on here that i i yeah you, you know who i'd uh, also recommend this to i'd recommend this to fans of like good nerdcore shit like i wouldn't mind seeing a collaboration between him and mega Rand. You okay, know what, what I mean? Like yeah. Mega Ran's dope. Like that's I know that's the homie's signature on the table and shit, but Mega Ran is dope. He's good at rapping. He's more nerdy, but this is good. Who you recommend this to? First, let me say, man, I feel like I've been too negative on this pod. <laughs> uh, so, let me say, oh, now he says, oh, he will like, now he says, disrespectful to Tomodachi's novelist. Let me say, I respect your content. I respect the perspective you're coming from. The production on this album was great. Your interludes killed it, and I don't like your self-help wisdom guys on there. It killed it for me. It came up a little cultural appropriation. It is in the brain. No tatemai wo misete ageru. I plant trees not knowing if I'll ever sit in their shade, Spade. It's just one of those things. That, that's, that's my critique, but I will recommend this. That's dope. To Bars. <laughs> I plant trees. Fans of Coach of the Friends. If you listen to Coach of the Friends, you would like this. And they're along the same line. Both of those guys are kind of in the same group. This album, whereas I don't like it, I thought it was booty, you may think it's good. And it's good to give the young people some various other raps to listen to besides like coke rap and drug rap even the standard backpack rap so for in that case i respect what you're doing but hey man i love i love an album where spades rating is booty if it's booty but i like that review yeah 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 all right, man. Yeah, we out here at Tokyo, Tokyo Base, Secret House Against Reviews, Secret House Against Looking in the River. Novelist, if you're out here, sushi's on me. Yeah, we're man. Oh, come yeah, through. We're rocking with Japan. you. Yo, yo, come to Japan, dude. Like, dinner's he'll be on like, me. He's going to be like, it's butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's booty. All right, he's yeah, gonna man. Learn that he, that he's going to learn he's real fucking good at jujitsu. I know. He'll toss my ass uh, around. When he, when he unsheat that brain on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker going to unsheat that brain. He's going to be talking different. <laughs> I'm the biggest fan. Out of nowhere. <laughs> what you right? didn't know was I was actually studying on this mountain. Yeah. <laughs> right. My eight yeah. killer technique skills. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we out here. Fuck the all right. So, Danny.